Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakakwadash. That's all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God in the name of His Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ in the name of the Holy Spirit. I would like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say Shalom, say shalom to the hopeful elect, the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth throughout the four winds of the world in this doctrine and the few sincere sisters that are out there that follow the men of the Lord to you. I say Shalom. Okay. The title of this lesson is our women are an embarrassment. All right. And as an Israelite man, you know, um, when you see our women out and about in public, just the way they dress, just the way they 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 carry themselves, it's, it's an embarrassment. Okay. And you, and, and knowing the truth and understanding that you're an Israelite, you come into the knowledge and the understanding. You see that, you know, that person, that woman is a part of our nation, it, it, you know, and you see why the other we see why Israel has been a laughing stock of all the nations for so long. You see why the other nations look at us with, with, with disdain and, and, and disgust because, you know, and this is not to get on just the women. All right. We know, you know, two thirds of the uh, men out there that ain't going to get it right. But, you know. Living out here in Las Vegas is hot, and these women think just because it's hot, they can wear whatever they want. All right, they're, they're, the majority of them are fat and out of shape, and even if they even if they in shape, they shouldn't be flaunting their bodies around because uh, because they can. Okay, but that's the liberty that this devil Esau gives these women. Okay, but like I said, the majority of our women are out of shape. All right, and, and they, they just they have no shame. Okay, they have no shame of how they look, how they carry themselves. They're loud. They're boisterous. B boisterous. OK, and that's not the way that a woman is supposed to carry themselves according to the scriptures. OK, and like I said, it's, a, it's just some sincere sisters out there that's that 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 this doesn't apply to. OK, that are turning around, turning themselves around and coming back to the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. OK, and it's going to be a small remnant like it's like they let it's going to be a small remnant that come back uh, of, of women that um that that turn away from the wickedness of this world or wickedness which they once did all right to dress pr pr uh, provocative and, and 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 follow the you know the wicked ways of this this society and the wicked philosophies of the society that that pushes this women's lib and you know you it's your body you can do what you want with it if you got it flaunted and all that old uh wickedness that's all of the that's all of the devil that's all of satan that's what the damn devil esau edom tells you all right, that's what all women's lib and suffrage was all about. All right, um, and that's, that's actually an Edomite, an Edomite um, uh, 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 cause. But what happened? So-called black women jumped, hopped on board. All right, and made it and made it their made it their uh, their business. And what happened? They took the man out the house. All right, first. All right, which is the head. The man is the head of the woman. Let me get that real quick. Because, you know, all these independent women out here, they think that, you know, they run and shit. But at the end of the day, what does the scripture says? This is 1 Corinthians 11. And I started to now I praise you, brethren, that you remember me in all things and keep the ordinance, the order as I deliver them unto you. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Hamashiach and the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Hamashiach is the Most High. So there's an order in everything. The Most High is all about order. All right. And the majority of these women out here are out of order. All right. And that's just, and you know, it, it, and part of it is the way they dress, but just their whole attitude, their whole, their, that whole prideful um, attitude they have about themselves. It's, it's an embarrassment. You know, when you come to the truth and you see these things, for what they really are and see how gone our people are, especially our women. You just, you just, you know, you shake your head and, and, and shake your head and discuss like the damn, like the other nations. All right. So, um, you know, it's a bunch of scriptures I can get into, man. So, you know, let me, um, try to knock these scriptures out and, you know, Lord, when this is edifying to the elect and, you know, you sincere women out there, you know, continue to follow the men of the Lord, continue to follow the Lord. And, 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 um, you know, it, it may not seem, it may not, seem like it but the lord is 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 watching and, and he he's he's going to bless those women that out there that are are, are are trying to follow his ways and follow his righteous ways all right this is um the book of sirach chapter 26 in verse 25 a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog but she that is shamefaced 
will fear the Lord. Shameless women. These women are shameless out here. So they're going to be counted as a dog. All right. But the but she that is shame faced will fear the Lord. And these women don't fear the Lord. All right. These women have made Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, their God. That's what they fear. All right. They fear that Esau is going to cut off the EBT, that Esau is going to cut off their um, their Section 8, that Esau is going to take any kind of benefits that they have. Esau is going to, you know, can fire them for their job. You know, they fear the damn devil, not the most high. All right. That's what's wrong with that. And that's one thing that's wrong with our women. OK, they, they and, 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 you know, that's Esau pushing that vibration out there that you don't need a man. You don't uh, uh, need a man to do anything for you. And, you know, but at the end of the day, we're going to see. All right. All these women that out here that 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 don't say they don't need a man. We're going to see where you're covering, where your protection is going to come in that day. OK, this is uh, for Isaiah three. And I'm going to start at. Uh, I start at uh, verse 16, actually, yeah, cause this, this is the this is how the most High cursed you women. It says, moreover, moreover, the Lord saith, because the daughters of Zion are haughty and haughty means proud. All right. Our women are very proud. You can't tell them shit. All right. They know everything. You know, they you can't um, you know, you can't correct them. OK, you can't, you know, uh, 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 show them where they're going off because at, in their mind, they ain't going off. They're right. They're right in their own mind. All right. But the scripture says um, there's a way that seems right to a man. But in there are the ways of death. All right. And this is nothing but a death style that our women are living. OK, um, it says uh, moreover, the, moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, meaning proud and walk with stretched forth necks and wanton eyes, walking and mincing as they go and they and make a tinkling with their feet. Therefore, the Lord will smite with a scab with a scab, the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion and the Lord will discover their secret parts. All right. That's why the so-called black women can't grow hair. All right. Yeah, some of them have hair, but it ain't in abundance. And and what's going to say? Because the curses is the, just in the curses is heavy on the Judite woman, the so-called black woman, because that's they're the head tribe. OK, that's why uh, uh, um, um, Judah went through such hardcore bondage here in um, America because they're the head tribe. All right. But other trust me, the other nations that the, they had their. Um, they had their punishment. They had their slavery. But Judah is always going to get it worse because they're the head. OK, just like um, you have you have a, 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 a group of brothers and sisters, whoever's the whoever's the oldest is going to get the, the worst ass woman because they should have known better. All right. Just just like this. The so-called black woman is getting it worse because they're the head tribe. All right. It says. um, in that day, I will take away the bravery of their tinkling ornaments about their feet and the calls and their round tires like a moon, the chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tab tablets and the earrings and the nose rings and the nose jewels, the changeable suits of apparel and the mantles and the wimples and the crisping pins. And all these are all the delicate things that our, our, our women you know, war, like, you know, uh, you know, jewelry and, 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 you know, had their hair certain type of ways. The Lord is going to take all that away. All right. And especially these women in this day. All right. These women are about to lose it because they're going to, have to lose everything, everything that they um, everything that they uh, um, they have in, in the society. All these 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 uh, delicacies, the Lord's take is going to take that away. All right. The glasses of fine linen and the hoods and the veils. And it shall come to pass that instead of a sweet smell there shall be a stink and instead of a girdle of rent and instead of a well set a well set hair baldness and instead of a stomacher of girding of stomach cloth and burning instead of beauty all right hey these women are going to be jacked up out here okay and, and it's and it's and it's all in righteousness because they've been proud against their head okay which is the man all right and they've been proud against the most high because the Most High set an order, but Esau changed that order. And what did our women do? They went right along with it. All right. Um, let me see. Uh, this is Micah 7 and so like, yeah. 7 and verse 10. Then shall then she that is my enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy power? That's how proud these women are. These women to say, well, when's your Lord coming back? Well, he ain't doing nothing for me. 
or, you know, some these women always got some slick, some slick shit to say, slick shit to say. OK, but that's that's the, that shows the pride of these women like Lot's wife. Um, excuse me. Uh, yeah, Lot, not Lot's wife. Yeah, Lot's wife was wicked. Uh, Job's wife, where she said, curse the most high and die. OK, there's going to come a time where um, a lot of brothers that got women, you know, that 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 that's act like they down for them when shit really start hitting the fan here in America and other parts of the world. When you don't got food, you don't have shelter. All right. You don't have the basic necessities you need to, to live your live a, a comfortable life. These women are going to say the same thing. Curse the most high and die. All right. And that's going to show you that that woman that you thought was down for you, that she was, was acting like she was a sister. And so in the truth, she would really went for you. All right. And she's going to get judged right along with Esau, because a lot of these women are going to revert back to their old ways and, and return to their to return, return to their heaven. To, excuse me. Return to their father, which is Esau. OK, my eyes shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And a lot of these women are going to be trodden down in these streets. OK, and, and it's going to be a lot of it's going to be a lot of more women um, that's going to die here in America because, because the women um, obviously outnumber the men. This is Ezekiel nine and. Um, is it nine? Yeah, nine. And um, I started four and, and the Lord said unto me. Go through the midst of the city into the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. It's talking about the men of the Lord. It's in the midst of Jerusalem, meaning the people, because Jerusalem's a people before it's a place. Verse five. And to the others, he said in my hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let your eyes spare. Neither have ye pity. All right. So the Lord is giving the angel specific instructions to go through the city and smite those that don't have that mark. That mark is an exception, uh, a mark of exemption, excuse me, uh, that the uh, that the elect is going to have. OK, but it said, let your eye spare, neither have pity. The, the, the angel, the deaf angel, when it comes through. All right. Whether it's a, a deaf angel or the a deaf angel puts a spirit on these Edomites or, or some of these crazy niggas out here that you a lot of you women have done wrong. To, uh, uh, to put a lot of you women to death. Okay, that's the reality of what's coming to America and other parts of America and other parts of the world. Okay, a lot of these women out here, these proud ass women that's, you know, that's out here on uh, uh, Insta thoughts and, hey, the, the Lord got a special judgment for you if you don't turn and repent and turn to the Heavenly Father. Okay, because, hey, a lot of women that's out there and, and, and you know, being a hoe and all in the streets and stuff. You know, is 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 as bad as it sounds. You know, they can repent. Cardi B, as wicked as she is, even though she's probably not, she can repent. But our women are not going to repent. They're going to stay in that 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 proud state of mind, and they're going to get judged for it. All right, it's this is the point. Verse six: Slay utterly old and young, both maids and children and women. It said women twice: maids, which is a young woman, and children. And women and come not near any man upon whom is the mark and begin at my sanctuary, the Lord, me and his people. Then they then they begin at the ancient men which were before the house. OK. Let me get this. First Timothy. Six, excuse me, five and verse six. She that lives in pleasure is dead. While she lives, so hey, and all these women are living in pleasure because they they got hey, they pretty much got that got the world in their hands. All right, whatever whatever Esau gives them, all right. So Esau is ruling right now. So in their mind, they feel like they're ruling because Esau gives these women liberty to do all this shit. Long as they uh, uh, don't have that man in the house, long as they put that man on child support, long as they come down, you know, uh, 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 or um, they come down and keep them. Keep their man up under them. But that's not what the Heavenly Father wants. The Heavenly Father said the order is the most high, the most high, Yahweh, the man, and then the woman. All right. But Esau has flipped everything upside down and in and, and the society. And he got these women, um, you know, he's got these women, you know, uh, uh, trying to play, trying to play both parts. OK, you got women, single, single family homes. All right. Why is that? Because. The woman, you know, uh, more than likely kicked the man out or the man was tired of the woman's shit. 
and, and you know, he, he wasn't going to be ruled over by, you know, no wicked ass woman. So he left. All right. But these single family homes, these women say, oh, I'm the mom and dad. All right. And that's off. All right. That brings com that brings more and more confusion in the house. All right. So um, let me grab this scripture right here. Because this describes our women, especially the Israelite women to a T. Uh, this is Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. All right. These women don't know shit. They don't even know the times that we're living in. They don't even understand that uh, uh, um, um, the, 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 this devil Esau, all right, who, have, who they've been confederate for so long is going to come down on everybody, including them. All right. They made a deal with the devil and the devil is, is going to come down on them just like he never knew him. OK, but the, 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 the a foolish woman is clamorous, clamorous, meaning loud, noisy. And all you do is hear you can hear the, the so-called black woman uh, 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 blocks away, running her mouth or yelling about some shit. All right. She is simple. She knoweth nothing. All right. Why is it the, and the, and the heavenly father? Made the woman like that so she can be dependent on her husband. Her husband is supposed to guide the family. OK. Let me grab this real quick. Um, Job 39 and um, I started at 16. She is hardened against her young ones as though they were not her hers. Her labor is in vain without fear because the most high deprived her of wisdom. Neither have her. He imparted to her understanding. The most high didn't give the woman the same understanding and wisdom as a man. All right. That's the order. OK, the most High gave the man the knowledge and wisdom so he can funnel down the information to his family. So the woman could teach the kids and keep teach the other young women. OK, the most High didn't give. That's why women are not supposed to be in this truth teaching. The scripture clearly says that. OK, that's against the order. OK. Um, let me grab this because this is how it's woman because the scriptures and, and the scriptures clearly Give you the instructions for everything, how a woman's supposed to act, how a woman's not supposed to act. OK. And, and you know, a lot of women are going to wake up. A lot of women are going to wake up to this truth. A lot, a lot of Israelite women are going to wake up to this truth. But the we know the majority of them are not. All right. This is First Timothy two. And I'm going to start at verse nine. And it says in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shame, facedness and sobriety. Modest apparel. All right. We're, women are supposed to be covered up. All right. You, you're not supposed to see another woman's curve. OK, a woman's supposed to have their head covered. It clearly says that in the scriptures in um, first Corinthians 11, um, 11 and, and a little further down um, where I read earlier that a woman is supposed to have her head covered when she prays. OK, that's that that's that's showing um, that's, um, you know, she's supposed to have a hair covered. That's um, what is it? Let me get it real quick. I don't want to. Um, First Corinthians 11 and it goes down uh, for if a woman not be not covered, she actually first Corinthians 11 and yeah, five. But every woman that prayeth, it's like I read, I started for for every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head for every woman that prayeth or prophesy with her head uncovered, dishonoreth, dishonoreth her head for that is even all one as she as she were shaven. So like I read that again for that is even all one as if she were shaven. But if a woman be not covered, let her be shorn. But if it be but for it be a shame for a woman to be shorn or shaven, let her be covered. That's talking about, you know, her covered covering her head. OK, um, back to this verse. I was at first Timothy two and I'm starting at nine again in like manner that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. And these women out here, they, they're, their wardrobe is just off the chain. Okay, they, they'll wear all these, uh, what they call them, yoga pants. And uh, I see these women out here with, with biker shorts on and they have a, a the, the little shorts on with the top with their fucking stomach out and, or, or you know, fat ass bellies out. That's, that's, that's man, that's, it's embarrassing. <laughs> like the title of this lesson, that's, that's, that's embarrassing, man, to, to, to see that. That's embarrassing. Even if they even if uh, they walking with their husband or their man, that that's embarrassing for them. He should be embarrassed. But a lot of these simp ass niggas are out here. They go along with it. All right. They walk in behind their women because the scripture says um, uh, uh, women rule over them. OK. All right. Back to the scripture. 
not with broided hair and gold or pearls or costly array and, and all those things draw attention. All right. A woman shouldn't be having all these these these, these things to be, to be drawing attention to them. And these women love attention. These women love compliments. These women love for men to tell them how good they look and, you know, this and that. They, these women love that. But the woman shouldn't be looking for that. The woman should be looking for that from her husband, her man. OK, verse 10. But which becometh woman professing godliness with good works, let woman learn silence with all subjection. But I suffer not a woman to teach nor assert authority over a man, but to be in silence. OK, woman's not supposed to teach. She's supposed to teach the family, the, 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 the children. All right. The young women. OK. And, and, and woman's not supposed to absorb authority over men. You got in this society, you got a women, a lot of women that are supervisors and managers and, and over men. OK. And, and what does that do to her ego? She thinks that, you know, she, she can't be stopped. All right. She can't. She can do anything. She's independent. All right. You're going to see a lot of independent women out here get judged by how about she how shy in these last days. OK, um, next verse I want to get is Titus chapter two in verse. I'm going to start at verse three. The age woman likewise that they be in behavior as become of holiness, not false accusers, not given too much wine. Teachers of good things. Wine is the philosophy. Wine is um, and also it could be a uh, twofold far as, you know, women out here. Uh, it's a lot of women out here, especially our women. that like to get drunk and loaded and, and, you know, be all extra belligerent and stuff. That's not. That's not um, that's not how our women are supposed to act. OK, that they may teach the young woman to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their husbands, that the word of the most high be not blasphemed. All right. It says good to their husbands. Keep the home. All right. The women. Yes. Women have a, a, a job in this. And that's to, to, to keep the home in order. All right. Keepers of the uh, keepers of the home, good, obedient to their husband. All right. And that's talking about a righteous Israelite man. I ain't talking about no nigga in the street or, or, or no two third ass nigga because he's going to he's going to either follow after his woman or or, or or be a nigga and be trying to pimp on his women or, or just, you know, Jake is into all kind of matter of wickedness. No, we're talking about an Israelite man, a man in the faith, a man that believes. OK. So, um, you know, Lord willing, this, that Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect and, you know, um, you Jake's out there, you, you know, especially you women, you, you, you understand that now we're, we're special people unto the most high and we got to start acting like it. All right. We become a laughing stock, uh, to these other nations that, you know, uh, they look down upon us and, you know, we got these devils looking down upon us when we're, we're, we're a holy people unto the heavenly father and we need to start acting like that and, and having our women behave in that in that manner, because if not, they're going to get judged, man. And, and it's, like I say, it's the women outnumber the men. So was it seven to one? So it's going to be a lot of more, a lot of women out here that's going to die in these last days. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Harakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, the great millstone, and peace and salutations to the whole elect. Shalom.